Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So for Windows 10 and Windows 11, we get a built-in security feature called Smart Screen over on Windows 10. And for Windows 11, the feature is called Smart App Control, which is part of the Windows Security app in both OSs, which if you head to Windows Security, you can head to App and Browser Control. And for Windows 11, the feature is called Smart App Control. And this had been upgraded um, from Smart Screen over on Windows 10, as mentioned, to Smart App Control. And for most, because of that, the feature will be turned off. Because if it's off, um, it can only be turned on um, if you reinstall Windows, according to Microsoft. So for the majority, I think this feature will be turned off. And I think for the minority, it'll be turned on. Now, if you are using Smart App Control or Smart Screen over on Windows 10 and or Windows 11, um, just to let you know about a security flaw um, that's been spotted by Elastic Security Labs. And just a quick recap before we have a look at those flaws is that um, Smart App Control, in case you are unaware, is used to block malicious apps. So basically, in a nutshell, um, it's part of the um, Windows Security Microsoft Defender app. And Microsoft introduced it in Windows 8 back in the day. And what it does basically detects when you try to run malicious apps by querying a Microsoft um, database of known, safe and known dangerous executables. So that's basically what um, Smart Screen and Smart App Control are all about in a nutshell. Now, apparently um, the Elastic Security um, Labs has identified three main um, kind of flaws that um, can and it's exploits that can bypass smart app control if you are using it as a security feature or smart screen um, in Windows 10 and Windows 11. And I'm just going to touch on these briefly because it's quite an in-depth report and just bringing this to your attention obviously because um, we talk about Windows 10 and Windows 11 on this channel but I'll leave the whole article by elastic down in the description if you'd like to get more information but basically it's broken down into three main kind of um, exploits the first is that um, malicious apps can be signed with legitimate certificates so they evade detection which apparently is a popular technique and is the most used uh, technique when it comes to bypassing smart app control and another um, is reputation hijacking which can use a trusted app apparently as an attack vector by using it uh, to forcibly launch malicious code without warning the uh, user. So that's the second bypass. And then the third, just to touch on this, is reputation tampering, which basically uh, makes modifications to a file um, that did not change the reputation for smart app control. So it's quite in-depth. As I mentioned, I'm just touching on um, some of those exploits, but I'll leave that full article down below in the description. Um, if you'd like some more information. And uh, the good news with this uh, is, um, although this is a little bit of a um, kind of a concern from Microsoft's side, and um, being able to bypass a security feature in Windows 10 and Windows 11, apparently Microsoft has acknowledged the issue and have mentioned that this um, will be fixed in a soon-to-be-released up-and-coming update for Windows um, 10 and Windows 11. So obviously, if I get any news of that fix, I'll keep you guys posted. But nonetheless, just bringing this to your attention um, regarding this bypass um, vulnerability for smart screen and smart app control on both Windows 10 and Windows 11. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.